Alright guys, I have something very important to talk about. It's recently come to light that some pretty awful of Wait a minute, is it still December? That's right, it's December 2nd! It's still the month of Christmas! This was surprisingly hard to put on with two hats. Anyways. Ow. Man, I don't think I'll ever be not excited for Christmas. Also, I changed my jacket. Don't question why. Hey man, why did you change your jacket? I said don't question! This is Teddy Roosevelt. I know I've worn this shirt in a couple other videos, but since I'm really bored and have no other ideas, let's talk about Teddy Roosevelt. I think one of my favorite things about Roosevelt is that he's really famous for that quote, speak softly and carry a big stick, but he was known for shouting a lot and openly carried a pistol on his person at all times while he was president. Pistol. Person. President. Piston. Pie. People. Punch. Another one of my favorite Teddy Roosevelt stories is when he was campaigning for a third term and he was shot. Yeah, some crazy dude just came up and... Shot him. He didn't die, though. That was mainly due to three reasons. Number one, the bullet was actually afraid of the retribution from Roosevelt if it had gone any further inside of him. The second reason was that death was actually afraid of Teddy Roosevelt. The third, and frankly least important reason, was the fact that he had a his metal glasses case and the folded sheets of his speech in here, and it absorbed enough of the blow that it didn't enter too deeply into his chest cavity. So, Teddy Roosevelt, being an avid hunter of everything, noticed that he wasn't coughing up blood, which means that he was probably fine. It's just a flesh wound! So he decided to skip the whole hospital thing and just give his speech anyway. And he was like, oh yeah, no worry, I'll take it easy. I mean, I've got an open bleeding bullet wound in my chest, but it's okay, I'll be fine. And then he talked for an hour and a half! Quick side note, he also decided to skip the whole hospital thing because the last time that they brought a wounded president to a hospital, it just went horribly wrong. At the time, that was William McKinley. He was assassinated while visiting Buffalo, New York. They brought him to a hospital and there was no doctor there. Well, there was no surgeons there. There was one doctor, a gynecologist. You can probably guess how well that surgery went. I'll give you a hint. William McKinley died. That's not really a hint. So yeah, that's about like one of 6,000 awesome stories from this guy. I highly suggest you read up on him. And if you want to know a really good source about where to read up on Teddy Roosevelt and other presidents, I suggest this book, How to Fight Presidents by Daniel O'Brien, one of my favorite internet people. Buy it! Not a sponsor! I just really like this book. So thank you, Daniel O'Brien, for being an awesome writer and a generally funny person. Uh, thank you, for people, for watching this video. See you next week. That was mainly due to two reasons. Number one, that's two, not one. <laughs> wow. I need more caffeine, I think. Nope, heater's on.